Thomas is a tank engine who lives at a big station on the island of Sodor. He's a cheeky little engine with six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler and a short stumpy dome. We're finally here. After covering how the rolling stocks such as the trucks and coaches were made, it's time to cover how the engines were made. In this video, I'll be informing you guys on how the colourful and stunning Gage 1 models used for the television show Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends were made from the very start in 1983 and onwards, and the pure expertise and craftsmanship that went into the creation of said models. I will only be talking about the main 11 with a few other exceptions from Season 1 through to Season 5 as we would be here all day otherwise. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first Gage 1 models to be made were that of Thomas and Gordon. Mentioned previously in my last video, they were originally made for the 1983 pilot by model maker Martin Gill. They were both constructed from plastic with custom made metal wheels and custom built chassis. Both models were painted using automotive paint and lined with red and yellow automotive pinstripe tape with the numbers on each being custom cut vinyl stickers. Both Thomas and Gordon's models were much more simplistic in appearance, with Gordon having a running board that veered steeply in a downwards direction as to match up with his back buffer beam, along with lacking a lamp and lamp irons. Thomas's model would also lack a lamp and lamp irons, along with lacking yellow pinstriping on the side cab windows and red pinstriping on his splashes. Thomas's model would also have thicker side rods and would use a brake pipe source from 10mm which during the production of Season 1 would be changed for a Marklin one. Additionally, his boiler was made with a removable section where the dome was. This was where the smoke unit hole was located. The cuts for this were made in such a way that the lining of his boiler was at either end of this piece, making the gaps much less easy to see. However, the models would perform so poorly for the 1983 pilot, they would be refurbished for the first season of the show. During the refurbishment of Thomas and Gordon's models, Gage 1 engines of Edward, Henry, James, Percy and Toby were built for the first season in 1984 from plastic. Rather than using custom built wheels and chassis like the pilot models, they would use wheels and chassis sourced from Marklin's Gage 1 range of engines that were cut down and modified. These being Marklin's BR55 used for Thomas, James and Edward. The Marklin BR80 which was used for both Percy and Toby along with the Marklin BR78 which was used for Gordon and Henry. Both Gordon and Henry would also source several parts from the Marklin BR38 being Henry's tender wheels, Gordon's tender chassis and the tender axles. But the main chassis and wheels from the 38 were never used for any of the models ever seen in the television show. The chassis for the main seven in season one were originally AC powered. However, during a refurbishment in 1985 for season two, the AC motors were replaced with DC motors to allow for easier running and maintenance due to there being much less wiring. In 1985, models of Diesel, Daisy, Boko, Duck, Bill, Ben, Donald and Douglas were created for season two, which was to air in 1986. They used DC motors and were also constructed from plastic. They were all also painted with glossy car body paint and would source their wheels and chassis and other parts from Gage 1 Marklin engines as well. Diesel, Bill and Ben would source their wheels and chassis from the BR80. Bill and Ben's chassis were cut down to use just two sets of wheels like Percy's bottle while Diesel's chassis was turned back to front for his model. Donald and Douglas would source their wheels and chassis from the BR55 along with several other parts such as their funnels, buffer beams and tender chassis. Duck, like the Scottish twins, would also source his wheels and chassis from the BR55 along with his back buffer beam, while his front buffer beam was sourced from the BR80. A custom chassis was built for both Daisy and Boko which was shared between the two which used 10 mils Mordsell coach wheels for the front bogey when being used by Daisy and would source wheels from the Marklin DHG500 for the back bogey. It would then be swapped around when being used by Boko. Parts from the DHG500 would also be used for diesel such as his buffer beams and his front step ladders. 1991 Season 3 saw the introduction of Oliver and Mavis. Like the other models, they were also painted in glossy car body paint. 
Unlike most of the other engines at the time of his debut, Oliver's model was made from brass, which would be the material used for the multiple new characters in the later seasons of the show. Oliver would source his chassis and several other parts from the BR-78. However, the BR-78 used was a slightly newer version to that of Gordon and Henry's. Mavis's model, on the other hand, was made using both plastic and brass. Her chassis was sourced from a newer version of the Markland BR-80. She would also, funnily enough, share the same buffer bases as Gordon. 1994 Season 4 saw the introduction of Stepney, who was custom built from brass with a set of custom CNC machined wheels and a custom chassis. Along with this, a diesel engine simply known as Class 40 was created and molded based on the design of the BR Class 40 design and built from Perspex rather than brass, with a custom built CNC machine chassis and set of wheels. During the production of Season 5 in 1997, a new diesel called Derek molded to the design of the BR Class 17 design would be created from plastic. Derek would source most of his parts from 10 mil, such as his bogies, wheels, coupling hooks, buffers and brake hoses. Along with this, Diesel's body would be cast for both Ari and Bert Season 5 models, minus the buffers and step ladders. Diesel's BR-80 chassis was also reused for one of the Ironworks twins while another BR-80 chassis was sourced for the other. They would then be repainted as Splatter and Dodge for Thomas and the Magic Railroad and Dodge would reuse Diesel's chassis, which leads us into the next part of the video. In 1999, during the production of the movie Thomas and the Magic Railroad, all new models of the main cast were needed to be created as the models used from season 1 to 5 had obvious wear and tear that could be concealed relatively well in the model series, however, would appear much more obvious on the big screen. So to counter this problem, brass models were constructed for Lady and engines 1 through to 7, minus Edward. The reason for Edward's absence in the film was that according to Phil Furl, I probably butchered that, but anyway, there was not enough screen time and opportunity to utilize him in a way that added any real value to the film. As a result, he was the only engine of the original seven created by Wilbert Audrey not to appear. Me personally, I like to think that the Fat Controller took him with him on his holiday. All the engines henceforth would be painted in a matte coat of paint rather than the glossy car body paint their plastic counterparts received. Both brass and plastic models of the engines would appear side by side post Magic Railroad, however, the brass models were used for nearly all of the screen time in the later seasons, while the plastic models would be used when a brass model was at risk of being damaged during filming a certain scene that risked the integrity of the model. On another note, I'd like to give a shout out to Square Engine 7. We are working on a collaboration video together about the 1953 BBC broadcast Sad Story of Henry in a similar video style to the ones posted here on this channel. I will put the link to his channel in the pinned comment below. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can see the video when it's posted to his channel. So that's it. That's how the Gage 1 models of Thomas and his friends were made for the show and the movie as well. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Yeah, boo, snubs.